Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a multiplying fractions worksheet. This is a worksheet from mathdrills.com. Go ahead and check it out in the description below. You'll see a link. Now, this is pretty straightforward if you're familiar with multiplying fractions. If this is your first time though, I kind of wanted to just introduce what it's talking about. And I think the easiest way to deal with fractions is pizza, okay? So let's say we have half a pizza here. So I have half there, I'm working on number 10. So I have half a pizza here as I demonstrated right here. And I have a three fourths times one half. Now in math, when we have times, it's talking about of. It's the same thing that we use in English for of. So three fourths of one half. So how do we find what a three fourths of one half is? Well, here's our one half and we would need three quarters or 75% of it. How would you do that? The easiest way to kind of handle this situation is by first dividing this in half again. So that would be one half of one half, okay? That's no good, we want three fourths. So what we need to do is we need to split it in half again, and that's each slice. So each slice we need to split in half again. That wasn't super accurate. Let's try to get this a little bit better. It looks like we got it that time, and then this one in half again. Okay, not perfect. Oh, I forgot I can do the straight line thing. Hold on, check this out. Okay, I'm gonna just erase a second. This is Notability, by the way. Great program to take a look at this straight line now that I got, look at that, so much better. Okay, so then I got this. So half of a half, that was no good. So we're gonna do half of those halves, and that creates something else, okay? But now we have four pieces, okay? Why is that important? Because this bottom number, okay, half of a pizza, that two, is split into two slices, and we're only looking at one of those. This now tells us four, we have four total, one, two, three, four total slices, but we only want three of those, okay? So what does that mean for us? That means we need to get rid of one. So let me go ahead and get rid of this one, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one up here. Let me erase it a little bit better. Okay, and if you're interested in just the math part, go ahead and skip ahead a little bit and you're gonna see a better, not a better explanation, but just a more mathy explanation, but I wanna give it a visual, okay? So there we have three fourths of one half. Now, what is this equal to? Well, we have half of a half was no good. We had to do half of a half of a half when we split it into uh, that last section there, okay? So instead of kind of trying to figure out what that is, let me show you the math part, which is multiplying the fraction. So what we do with multiplying fractions is the following. Let me scoot up here. We do the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. So the numerators times the numerators. Oh, let me go, go ahead and pause here if you wanna see that. Top times top, bottom times bottom. So the numerators multiplied together, that's the top numbers. That would be the three times the two. What color did I use? I think blue. I'm gonna trust that I use blue. So blue here. I'm gonna multiply three times four, and that gives me three, and then for the bottom times the bottom, that's the denominator, four times two, that is eight. So I split it into eights. Half of a half of a half is eights. So this, are, this would be eight pizzas, eight slices of pizza in this whole thing, okay? So eight slices, and we only want three of those if we're taking three-fourths of that one half. So that would be three-eighths, and that's where that comes from. So it's not just so abstract or any of that. Now you can actually switch it and it remains the same thing. So if we had half of three-quarters, well, I already have three-quarters of the pizza already drawn up here, look at that. Okay, and if we're looking for half of three-quarters, it would be something along this line right here, okay? See, I'm splitting this into two equal parts, I'm trying to, but I only want one of those parts. Okay, so I need to erase one of these parts right here, okay, and then still waiting for Notability to be one of my sponsors, that'd be amazing. No luck, whoops. Okay, here we go, sorry. And erase this. I just wanted to show you that this looks extremely similar in size, and if I rotate it here to this other one, okay? So whether we do a three quarters of a half a uh, slice of pizza or half of a three quarter slice of pizza, we get the same thing, okay? Now let's get into the the 
nitty gritty of how we do this. Again, we're doing top times top, bottom times bottom. I think I, t yes, it was blue. So we do four times one is four, five times five is 25. And that's what we're gonna do for this. I'm gonna switch to purple so I don't have to do so much switching. We get one over nine, and this just becomes essentially a math facts problem. So five over 42 for number three, we have one over 27 and so on, okay? It becomes a very simple process, but now you know what it's talking about when we're finding these things. We're t talking about finding one, uh, one seventh of one half of something. So if we had half of pizza, one seventh split among seven people, that's you'd actually be having one fourteenth of the entire thing. Eight over 81, 20 over 49, okay? One other thing I wanna mention, if you have two times for example, one seventh, okay? Essentially what you can do is you can change this two, which is a whole number, into a fraction by putting it over one. So then it becomes two times one, which we were gonna plan on doing anyway, over seven times one. Essentially the denominator stays the same and becomes two over seven. I just wanted to address that real quick. That was a question in my class today. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But that's it. That's all there is to multiplying fractions. If you need more of these problems done, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll happily do more of these. Okay, and make sure to check out other videos like this. I have tons of fraction explanation videos. I have tons of math drill videos. So make sure to leave a comment if you need something specific that I don't cover. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best. You guys see that was doing problems as I was talking? Not bad, huh? See you later.